Bonjour, je veux avoir un wardrobe essential qui pulls votre tout look together et sometimes finding the right shoes with your outfit is not easy. In this video, I will show the 10 shoe styling rules everyone should learn if you want to know how to style and match the shoes with any outfit. Looking great, being practical and feeling comfortable is the goal of dressing well and finding the appropriate style, color and shape of shoes for any outfit will help you to elevate your style. The first shoe styling role you should absolutely know is to understand the role shoes play in your overall silhouette. Do you know that shoes can really break any outfit and most of the time picking the wrong shoe with my outfit and my whole look looks a little bit old and wet. So knowing how your shoe fits into the overall silhouette you are creating with your outfit will help you to select the correct footwear style. Typically categorized into slim, straight and wide, the silhouette refers to the general shape of your figure emphasized by your clothes, shoes and accessories. You can create different silhouettes by combining various styles of tops, bottom and shoes. The ones that suit you best will depend on your personal style and preferences, but there are some general rules you can use to get started. For example, that slimmer shoes with a thin outsole that fit tight on the foot got better with slimmer silhouettes. Chunky shoes platform most of the time look more balanced with worn with some oversized items and especially a straight long pleated trouser. I will say proportion and balance are key when you want to find the right and correct shoes when you want to get dressed. So finding the perfect shoes is not easy. You just have to play with your outfit and most of the time when I get dressed or when I usually prepare my outfit of the day, I try different pair of shoes and the correct silhouette for me is something that makes me taller and slimmer. So most of the time, I try to choose the shoes that will make me taller and slimmer in my outfit. The second shoe styling rule everyone should learn is to find the right shoe color. Once you determine the correct type of shoe with your outfit, the next step is to find the right color and believe me, it is not easy. When done right, the color of your shoe can be used to pull together your whole look and really make your outfit strike. I usually match my whole outfit of the day depending on the color of shoes I'm going to choose. But the best tips I can give you is to incorporate color in your outfit but without overdue. An easy styling rule is to use a neutral or solid color within the outfit you are wearing. For example, pick one color within the design and match it to the same color of your shoes. If your outfit is made up of one or two solid colors, you can either pick one of the colors or select a neutral color. Finding the right shoe color is absolutely not easy, but my best tip is always to find and strike what we call neutral and earthy colors such as white, black, brown of course, a camel. The third shoe styling rule everyone should learn is about to create friction with different materials. Sticking to your uniform color scheme is a great way to look polished and I love monochrome outfits but be careful not to match your outfit material to your shoes. Instead choose footwear in the same color as what you are wearing but in a different material. Velvet metallic suede to add texture. Don't be afraid to play with textures to create friction in your outfit. A few classic also includes leather, suede, denim and velvet but I love also to play with different shoe materials such as also silk for example very fragile but I love it or even tweed. The fourth shoe styling rule everyone should learn is about how to dress for the occasion with the right shoe. Finding the right pair of shoes with the right occasion and finding the right shoes to complement your look is not easy, believe me. But if you are wearing something formal, you should ensure that your shoes are not casual. So for a formal event, for example, avoid sneakers, flip-flop or sandal. Go for loafer, city shoes or even pumps. My best tip is to always find the right shoes depending on the context, the event, or what you are going to do in the day, but avoid anything that is too casual. And my best tip is also to go for wardrobe shoe essentials such as ballerina, 
loafer, for example, sling bag, via timeless pieces, via timeless classic shoe, stylish and comfortable at the same time, and you will look always polished and elegant with this type of shoes. The fifth shoe styling rule everyone should learn is about to find simple, neutral shoes. Let's say you have hard time to pick a shade of shoe color or you don't know which shade you should choose for your outfit, go with a nude color, stick with a classic shade. A little tips about nude color shoe, the nude shoe should match your skin tone. This elongates the look of your legs while also give you the appearance of age. This is exactly the little trick Coco Chanel used to make with the sling bag. If you picture the Chanel sling bag, you can see that the point toe is in black while the rest of the shoe is in nude color. So the goal is really to elongate the silhouette to create illusion to make you taller and slimmer. And of course, over natural colors like black and brown should also be wardrobe staples that will leave you able to accessorize any outfit. Remember to consider your overall color palette when using neutrals. If your whole outfit is in pastel colors, reach for a lighter shoe instead of the black one. And another shoe styling rules everyone should learn is about the general shoe rules. They are simple shoe rules that complement any outfit. And the first one is the more of your foot you can see, the longer your legs will appear. A low fronted shoe worn with a skirt, a dress, a short or a crop trouser will elongate your leg. The second one is an ankle strap will draw attention to your ankle, widen and shorten your leg and also cut your leg. So avoid an ankle strap with a skirt or a short. It is something I use every day. I usually avoid any ankle strap when I wear, for example, a skirt or something that will show my leg. The goal is really to elongate your silhouette, not making you more petite. So this is a tip also you should absolutely, absolutely know if you are petite. And the third one, regardless of the shape of your ankle, if you want to look taller and slimmer, choose a shoe that is the same tone in color as what you are wearing on your leg. This doesn't mean exactly the same color, but as dark as or as light as your legs. And the seventh shoe styling rule everyone should learn is to choose the best shoes for your outfit using visual volume. Okay, this is a concept you should absolutely know if you want to pick the right shoe with your outfit. And what is visual volume? In terms of clothing, it is what has visual wave in your outfit or what the eye is drawn to. For example, a chunky oversized sweater will have more visual volume than one in a fine night that's more fitted. A long jacket has more visual volume than a shorter one. A color, pattern, texture and layers also tend to add visual volume in your outfit. You can use the visual volume of your shoes to help achieve that balance. There are several ways to add or reduce volume in your outfit to achieve balance. The first one is for example with loafer. Loafer have a more visual volume for example than a ballet flat because loafer tends to be a little bit chunkier Platform or wedge sole creates more visual volume as well. Try shoes with varying levels of visual volume and see what looks best to your eye. The eighth shoe styling rule everyone should learn is to make your shoes the statement of your outfit. It is something I love to do on an everyday basis when I really work on my outfit of the day is to make my shoe, my pair of shoes, the focal point of the statement of my outfit. Usually it adds something more original and personal to my outfit. So if you have a very detailed pair of shoes with a pattern, a print, a special color or something that is 
just noticeable match your outfit to the shoe for example i recently bought a pair of loafer bicolor loafer from Cézanne and as you can see it is very original the bicolor really adds something more unique and original it's not something that is super common bicolor brown and white and i just love it and i find that that this special bicolor color really adds something more unique and original to my outfit and I love to pair it, for example, with a simple denim, a cropped jacket, for example, a faux fur jacket. It's one of my favorite outfits of the day, actually. And the ninth shoe styling rules everyone should learn is to prioritize comfort. With age, it is something I really focus on is to really be stylish and comfortable. And also I learned that finding stylish and comfortable shoes is absolutely not easy because most of the time the most beautiful shoes are the least comfortable and fertility but there are some brands that really specialize in comfort and style at the same times but unfortunately most of the time they are very expensive and they are stylish and comfortable shoes in my wardrobe that are wardrobe shoe essentials for me to be honest such as ballerina i love ballerina for me they are the most stylish and comfortable shoe Ever, and they work great with a dress, a shirt, a pants. They look super feminine and comfortable at the same time. They really, I will say, wardrobe shoe essentials here in Paris. Sling bag or kitten heel. Oh my God, I can't live with kitten heel here in Paris. And usually they really elongate your silhouette, make you taller, slimmer, feminine at the same time. They're perfect with a skirt and a dress. And the last 10th uh, shoe styling rules everyone should learn is about the wrong shoe theory. If you don't watch TikTok or if you're not on social media, but you should absolutely know something, the wrong shoe theory can really help you to pick the right shoes with your outfit. It's a simple trick I find on TikTok because it has been coined by the stylist Alison Bernstein and the act simply involves to pick the most unexpected shoe to finish off a look or an outfit. Addition of shoes that feel slightly off or maybe mismatch with the rest of your outfit. They will be the least expected shoe, but at the same time, they work great. And I can take you an example, for example, a pair of boots with a long skirt or a pair of Marie-Jeanne flat with a maxi dress skirt. Something that is super trendy here on social media is of course a pair of kitten heel with a large oversized jean or even a pair of cutie ballet flat with a super large oversized jean. I see that all over Instagram or social media. And I find this idea super interesting. Personally, I love to add with a wrong shoe theory, for example, a pair of boots with a long, long skirt. The wrong shoe theory is very quite luxury. You find this also on the roll, for example. So very quite luxury, but I really like the idea. And for those who are not aware of a wrong shoe theory and don't know how to start, I will say mix up and try something that might totally blow your mind and change the entire look. So choose something that you would not wear usually and it might work with your outfit. I hope this video will really help you to find the perfect shoe with your outfit. And believe me, it is not easy. I really struggle every day to pick the right shoe. And most of the time what I do is to did try different pair of shoes with my outfit of the day to make sure that it looks completely balanced but my best tips is always to find the perfect balance to make sure that your silhouette is complete and it's not easy but i hope this video will help you to really with these practical tips to achieve this balance and find the right shoe don't forget to subscribe don't forget also to leave a comment below this video check also my other video and i see you very soon for another one bye